dears this is Raji this is the third video related to the mole concept so in the previous videos we were learning about atomic mass unit and relative atomic mass unit in this video using a very interesting example we are going to learn easily gram atomic mass and gram molecular mass also these concepts are very important to do problems related to mole concept okay so why we should waste time let's start now see this picture you will be knowing how to express the mass of an atom in atomic mass unit so can you tell me what will be the atomic mass of carbon that will be 12 amu or 12 units we will write okay yeah what about the atomic mass of aluminium it will be 27 units right yes and what about the atomic mass of sulfur it will be 32 units right yeah remember whenever we are speaking about 12 units of carbon you are speaking about the mass of only one atom of carbon agreed okay yeah is it possible to see one atom of carbon it's so tiny okay you can't see that now i am going to take 12 gram of carbon if it is 12 gram of carbon you can hold it in your hand you can see that also why because 12 gram of carbon will be containing so many atoms how many atoms will be there i will say it contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of carbon in the same way whenever we are speaking about 27 units of aluminium remember you are expressing the mass of only one aluminium atom you can't see one aluminium atom right it's so tiny but if you are expressing this 27 units simply as 27 gram right yeah it will be containing so many atoms right how many atoms I will say that will be equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms will be present in that. Okay. In the same way, if you are telling 32 units of sulfur, you are expressing the mass of one atom of sulfur. You can't see that. But if you are taking 32 gram of sulfur, you can see that also. You can hold it in your hand also. Okay. Yeah. It will be containing so many atoms. How many atoms will be there? 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms will be present in 32 gram of sulfur. So, if you are expressing the atomic mass of an element simply in gram. Okay. We call it as gram atomic mass. Right. You got an idea, but still so many questions are remaining in mind. Okay. When we are taking 12 gram of carbon, 27 gram of aluminium and 32 gram of sulfur, how all these elements are containing same number of atoms. We will see that. See this picture. We were telling that if you are taking the gram atomic mass of any element, it will be containing the same number of atoms. To understand the logic behind it, we can have a simple example. See this one, we have a cherry fruit, an apple and a papaya. We don't know the exact weight of all these fruits, but we are taking the weight of cherry fruit as x gram. That means weight of one cherry fruit is x gram. We also know that one apple is 12 times heavier than a cherry fruit. Okay. If so, how can we write it? We are writing it as 12 x gram. And what about this papaya? Papaya is 23 times heavier than this cherry fruit. So, how can we write it? 23 x gram. Okay. Now, what I am going to do? I am taking simply 1 kg of cherry. So, can you count and tell me when I was taking 1 kg of cherry? Yeah, it contained 10 cherry fruits in that. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, as one apple is 12 times heavier than a cherry, simply I am taking 12 kg of apple. Now can you count and tell me how many apples are there in this basket? That is also 10. Okay. A papaya will be 23 times heavier than a cherry fruit. Okay. I am simply taking 23 kgs of papayas. If so, that also will be containing 10 papayas correct 
weight of the fruits will be different but the number is found to be the same so if we are applying the same logic here also we will understand the concept easily okay look at this one what is the atomic mass of hydrogen that is 1 amu or 1 unit or we will say that it contains only one nucleon correct yes what about the atomic mass of carbon that is 12 units it contains 12 nucleons what about sodium? Sodium is 23 AMU or 23 nucleons will be present in sodium atom we were telling, right? Yeah. Or in other words, we can say that one carbon atom is 12 times heavier than hydrogen. And what about sodium? One sodium atom is 23 times heavier than one hydrogen atom. So if I simply take one gram of hydrogen, okay? 12 gram of carbon and 23 gram of sodium. Look at this one. The size of the atom will be different but the number will remain the same. Okay. Experimentally it is observed that this will be the number of atoms present. That is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. Did you get the concept? Yes. Now using the same concept is it possible to define Gram molecular mass. Let's try that also. See this one. First we will write the molecular mass of water. That will be equal to 18 units. How we are calculating the molecular mass? We had discussed that in the previous video. You will be knowing that. Okay. And what about the molecular mass of carbon dioxide? That will be 44 units. Atomic mass of carbon will be 12 unit. Oxygen will be equal to 16 unit. So if you are adding the atomic masses, you will be getting the molecular mass. Okay. Remember, whenever you are writing 18 units, that is a mass of only one molecule of water. Okay. And whenever you are writing 44 units of carbon dioxide, you are expressing the molecular mass of only one molecule of carbon dioxide. Is it possible to see one molecule of carbon dioxide? Is it possible to see one molecule of water? It's too tiny. We can't see that. Okay. But I'm going to express this 18 unit simply in gram. That is in 18 gram. 18 grams of water. You can take it in your hand. You can see that also. Right. Why? Because it contains so many molecules. How many molecules will be there? Same thing. 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of water will be present in that. Okay. Yeah. If I am simply expressing 44 unit in 44 gram, if I am taking 44 gram of carbon dioxide, that also will be containing 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of carbon dioxide in the jar, right? Yeah. Why is it so? Because the atomic mass of hydrogen is one unit. That means it contains only one nucleon. If the molecular mass of water is 18 units, that means one molecule of water is 18 times heavier than yeah, one hydrogen atom or one nucleon, right? Yeah. One molecule of carbon dioxide is 44 times heavier than one hydrogen atom. So if you are taking 18 gram of water also, 44 gram of carbon dioxide also, it will be containing the same number of molecules. Clear? Yes. So how can you define gram molecular mass? Molecular mass of a substance expressed in gram is called gram molecular mass. Okay. So gram molecular mass of water will be 18 gram and that of carbon dioxide will be 44 gram. And gram molecular mass of any substance will be containing 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules in that. That's what we understood. Okay. We know that. Now, there is something special about this number. We will see that. Okay. See this one. The number 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 is known as Avogadro's number. This was not suggested by Avogadro, but this number was given the name in the honor of this great Italian scientist, yeah, Amedeo Avogadro. Okay. Remember, whenever you are learning the concept of mole, this number will be associated with it. How? For example, I am writing one pair. If you are going and buying a pair of shoes, you will be getting two shoes, right? 
and if you are buying one dozen of hair pins yeah, you will be getting 12 numbers in the same way 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 is a huge number we don't have to use such a huge quantity in our daily life right yes but in order to express the number of atoms and molecules it is required because they are so tiny right just like a pair and a dozen we call this number as one mole got it yes so remember yeah whenever we speak about one mole it will be containing 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles in that just like one dozen will be having 12 hairpins got it yes before winding up we have one more work I have kept a table in the next page. We are going to fill it up together so that you will not be having any confusion related to the concept of mode. Write along with me. Yeah, see this one. We are going to take one atom of carbon. What will be the atomic mass of carbon? You will be knowing that. We will express that in atomic mass unit or simply we will write it as 12 unit. And what is gram atomic mass of carbon? It will be 12 gram, right? Yeah. Atomic mass expressed in gram, that is called gram atomic mass. And if you are taking 12 gram of carbon, how many number of atoms will be there? If it is 12 units, only one atom will be there. In 12 gram, so many atoms will be there. Yeah, that will be Avogadro number of atoms 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of carbon will be there in 12 gram, right? Yeah, that will be equal to how many moles? Yeah, this quantity we call it as 1 mole, right? Yeah, or 1 mole of carbon will be containing these many atoms and what will be the weight of these many atoms of carbon? That will be equal to 12 gram. Idea is clear? Yes. One more you write. We are writing sodium atom. What is the atomic mass of sodium? That will be equal to 23 units. If so, what will be the gram atomic mass? That is 23 gram. Right. If you are taking 23 gram of sodium, it will be containing how many number of atoms? That will be equal to the Avogadro number. The short form of Avogadro number is Na. I am writing like that. If so, how many number of moles will be there in that? Yeah, if this number is Avogadro number, that will be equal to 1 mole. Got it? 1 mole of sodium, if you are taking, it will be weighing 23 gram. Now, see this one. What about molecules? I am taking 1 molecule of ammonia. What will be the molecular mass of ammonia? 1 nitrogen is 14 and hydrogen is 1 unit. So together if you are adding you will be getting 17 units. Right? 17 atomic mass unit. That is a molecular mass. And what is a gram molecular mass of ammonia? That will be equal to 17 gram. If you are taking 17 grams of ammonia, it will be containing how many molecules? Avogadro number of molecules in that 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of ammonia will be there in that. If so, it will be containing how many moles? It will be 1 mole. So, if you are taking 1 mole of ammonia, it will be weighing 17 gram. Got it? Now, Write one more example, carbon dioxide. We have already calculated the mass. Okay, what is the molecular mass of carbon dioxide? That is 44 units. If so, what is the gram molecular mass? That is 44 gram. 44 gram of carbon dioxide will be equal to how many moles? It will be equal to 1 mole. Yeah. Why? Because it will be containing 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of carbon dioxide. Once you are writing and learning like that, the concept will be always there in your mind and you will not be making mistakes while doing problems. Okay? Yes. Now, I am sure that you have understood the concept of mole very well. So, next time when you are going for a birthday party, instead of wishing your friend many many happy returns of the day, you can convey moles and moles of wishes. See you in the next video. Bye for this time. Thanks for watching.